for this um, for this stretch called puppy dog you'll be opening the front of your chest your rib cage you'll also be opening the front of your shoulders and if you move your chin well in this position chin up but when you're on the floor be chin forward if you lift your move your chin away from your sternum you'll also be helping to stretch the front of your neck what I'd suggest to get the feel for the pose start in either cross-legged or uh, sorry kneeling position or cross-legged with your arms up above you reach your shoulders up reach your shoulders up lengthen your neck at the same time so inhale lengthen your fingers stretch your fingers relax now as you lift your shoulders and lengthen your neck lift your ribs as well inhale relax and get the feeling that you're pulling your ribs arms and head away from your pelvis so you're lengthening up this way inhale relax and then to add to that you could also try tilting your pelvis forward while curving your spine backwards you can move your arms back at the same time so from here inhale relax try and lift your back ribs as you curve backwards inhale relax so that is just the preliminary the warm-up if you like for the next um, variation the deeper variation have your hips over your knees if you need a mat so your knees are comfortable please use one or do it on carpet reach your hands forward so in this position before you sink down you'll be sinking your chest down practice lengthening your spine and opening your shoulders and do that by reaching your hips back so inhale make your neck long relax and again remember to try and open the back ribs move your back ribs away from your pelvis as you inhale inhale relax and try and as you inhale make your arms feel long and then from there sink your chest down and do the same thing my chin is on the floor so you may want to have your nose on the floor or as you get more comfortable slowly reach your chin forward and i'll show you a variation in a moment if you can't get down so from here inhale spine long back ribs open relax and pull your hips back a little bit inhale relax inhale Relax. Now usually it takes me a little bit to get my chest to the floor. Even if you don't get your chest to the floor, it can still help you open up. If um, you find this too uncomfortable, start with your start with your belly on the floor, just with your arms forward. Stay like this. Inhale, lengthen, and then relax. Do that a few times, and then lift your hips a little bit and then from there arms out to the side sweep them forward then do the same thing inhale relax and as you inhale pull your pelvis back away from your away from your torso inhale relax once you're comfortable there go a little bit higher inhale relax Inhale, lengthen, relax, try and keep your feet relaxed. Again, inhale, actually you can tuck your toes under and relax. So you can move into the full version of the stretch that way by moving your knees uh, further and further forward. And actually what I would suggest, do keep your toes tucked under. As you lengthen, um, activate, the, activate your feet deliberately make them a little bit stronger. Particularly if you're doing this in the morning, maybe start lying flat out, do a few breaths, move your knees a little bit closer, hips up. Again, repeat for a few breaths and then move your knees a little bit forward. And then if you like, start from the top, the first version where you have your, your hips over your knees and then try and sink down, see how it feels.